the the most violent film scene that I've ever seen was I think I saw it I can't remember it was many many years ago, but it, it was in the cinema and it was a scene from Saving Private Ryan, and it's a scene where you see a German soldier fighting with an American soldier. The German soldier fights the American soldier to the ground, and he's on top of the American soldier with a knife and he slowly pushes the knife into his heart and at the same time he is comforting him and guiding him into his own death in the way that he's whispering he's very close to him and he's whispering in his ear just just uh, surrender just end it and it'll be all right it'll be all right it'll be all right and uh, it's it was for me uh, I got I got sick and I had to leave the cinema space I'm interested in language and violence because it's, uh, it's a very important uh, realization to both for an individual but also from an outside perspective to see how a spoken act can differ from uh, an acted act, so to say. And um, that interest came also from a lot of the anti-violence training literature that I was reading where they, uh, one always works a lot with first you say something and then you do what you have just said. Uh, for example, uh, I, I want to be the one who hits the least and then show me what is hitting the least. Uh, then a person can maybe hit a lot and not just once, which would be the least for me. So it's, it's language and uh, violence is for me the difference between yeah, what we say and what we do. And in, in violence, it's super important that we are aware of those differences. Uh, to me, rumors are interesting because they are their narratives, their stories, they are lies. I mean, basically, it's uh, stories that where you don't need an, uh, any evidence. Um, they can be created by whom we don't know. Um, it can also a rumor can also evolve from a misunderstanding from that you saw something that you thought and you interpreted it alone and then you make the story. So for example there is a book that has been my bible for many years and it's a book written by a sociologist called Gordon Alport and it's called The Psychology of Rumor. Basically it has a lot of case studies of different ways that you can use images to uh, investigate how people report something that they've seen happen. And uh, let me show you this one. It's, it's very, it's very sweet. It's this is um, um, in. Uh, it's not how do you say? It? It's not a. It's not about text, but it, uh, the difference. Yeah, it's different to. God, my English sucks right now. But fun. Uh, it's um, showing. It's a case study where he showed the image of an owl to one person, who then after, within a few days had to draw the owl and then. Mm -hmm. This is the second image. Third image is this, and you already seen the third image. It it becomes it looks different. It's not an owl anymore, and then it slowly turns into a cat. And it's it, it's so simple. Even children would be understanding this. So I I love that picture in the book because it so clearly shows in a visual way what language is and what uh, um, dissemination or. Uh, or passing along stories is about and what happens to a story when we pass it along.